Hi, this week we've been uh, looking at a lot of portraits with pattern in them, and those patterns were used to create the more interest in the artwork, but also really help us understand more about the person that the portrait was made about. So this week, your art assignment is to really think about an important person in your life, someone who means a lot to you, maybe you miss, maybe you're thankful for. Um, that person, I've been asked this, can even be yourself if you really want to take time to think about yourself and reflect and make art about you. That's fine. You're going to be creating a portrait and you're going to be thinking about how you can use pattern in that portrait to represent who they are, something about them. Now, remember, we're using what we have, so it doesn't have to be um, a traditional portrait. There's examples on the class slides for lessons, but I'm just going to show you what I'm going to use. I happen to have a printer, luckily, um, a black and white one, and I'm just using that as a resource. The person I'm thinking a lot about is my mom. I can't see her really right now, um, except for, you know, through talking on the phone, things like that, but I miss visiting her. This is, so I chose a picture from last year was her 60th birthday and we took her to the Red Sox game for her birthday because it's her she loves them it's her one of her favorite thing so I had a picture um of her and my son at the game wearing their baseball hats and it was just a really great memory so I printed it and I cut it out um, and I'm going to be hand coloring it but you can draw it, you can paint it, you can collage it. I'm, so I'm doing a collage and some drawing with mine. And then I have a blank background that I'm going to attach it to. So what I'm going to do, my idea was I'm going to add some hand coloring to the to the portrait of my mom and my son. And But I'm going to really, before I start coloring, I'm going to brainstorm um, things that represent her, things I know she likes. So one thing we know she likes, I just said it, is the Red Sox. She's a huge fan. In that picture that I just showed you, she's actually wearing a necklace that um, has Red Sox dirt in it from Fenway Park. So Red Sox is going on my list. So I'm just going to show you them right now. I'm just sketching. This is my, we are in my studio in case you're wondering what this mess is all over the table. So Red Sox. So maybe that gives me ideas to include maybe the pattern of the logo or the colors in the design. I brainstorm a lot by writing down things and sketching, but we all have different ways of brainstorming. Another thing she loves is lavender, the flowers. Um, so using that color or maybe the plant somehow in my background and patterning. And then another thing that reminds me of her a lot is yellow. It's one of her favorite colors. It has been since I was a little kid. Um, another thing that makes me think about my mom is animals, specifically cats and dogs. She has lots of rescue animals and um, something that she's really passionate about. She is sings and plays the guitar so now I'm thinking about okay maybe I can incorporate some music patterns in there something that's sim like a symbol of that so these are all my ideas now I'm just going to use these ideas and I'm going to pick the my favorite I don't have to use them all and I'm going to think about how I'm going to arrange them in my project to make a complete work of art so you really want it to have detail interest um, and to be finished looking. You don't want it to be something that's just maybe, you know, a quick drawing. Remember, this is a two-day assignment, so our, our pictures should take us about an hour. It may be longer to make. I don't want you to spend, you know, hours and hours and hours and hours on this unless you want to, and this is something that makes you very happy to do. But you should spend about an hour over the next two days um, thinking about what you want to make, how you want to make it, and then creating it. All right, when you're done, you're going to submit a photo of what you've made to me either through by attaching it to Google Classroom or having your guardian text it to my um, Google Voice number. All that information of how to attach assignments or my contact info is in the Welcome to Art slideshow. So if you need it, you can go back and get um, everything you need to know there. All right, have fun creating. I can't wait to see what you make.